Hi everyone, I am Victoria and today we're going to be discussing two of my favorite things in the world, knitting and Formula One. And quick disclaimer, you don't have to be a Formula One fan to enjoy this video. We are going to be talking about 22 knitting patterns that I really like. Mostly of them are geared towards men, but you know, fashion has no gender, so stick with me and enjoy the ride. And just so you know, I got into Formula One because of memes. So why not getting into Formula One because of knitting? Another disclaimer, this video was heavily inspired by Amanda from Knits by Mandy. She has this series on her YouTube channel called Cast on Stitches, where she discusses what she will need for the cast of a TV show or a movie. And that's what we are going to be doing today. I will go over the 2024 grid and I will tell you what I would like to need for each one of the drivers. Be sure to check the description box where I will be leaving all the links for all the patterns I will mention here. But first of all, let's watch a quick video to refresh our memory and see what we are working with. To sum up, we have Basic Man and Sir Lewis Hamilton. Lewis' style is incredible. Every time he enters to the paddock is a major sleigh. I'm always looking forward to his next outfit and luckily for us, he seems to really like knitted clothes. The first thing I would like to knit for Lewis will be the Nordic Mix sweater by Laura Dagard, minus the sleeves. Um, here's a picture of the sweater on finish and it looks so cool. Both Lewis and I need it in our lives. And just because it's Lewis and he has a great fashion sense, I'm throwing in a second pattern. I appreciate a man who likes a chili window. And that brings me to the pop top by Josephine Drying. It's a fun little top with some crochet edges on it. Now onto some controversy. I really like Lance Stroll. He seems like a really nice guy and every driver in the box seems to like him. Plus he gives really nice gifts. So I want to give him something right back. I thought about the Ingrid sweater man by Petit Knit. Lance is a very private person about his life, but he seems like somebody who would appreciate a classic sweater, especially in the Canadian weather. Moving on to the current world champion Max Verstappen. He loves Red Bull, and he seems to wear nothing else but Red Bull merch. Whenever he's streaming, playing football, boxing, or playing paddle with the boys, it's always Red Bull merch. The only way I could get Max into something needed is if it says Red Bull. So the shipper's jersey by Lydia Max comes into play. We could make the body blue with a white stripe and the Red Bull written in red and maybe some yellow stripes in the neck and in the armbands. It's such a cool design, it brings me so much joy. One thing about Checo, my first thought is that he dresses like a dad. And some days ago, he uploaded this picture to Instagram, which proves my point. So the zipper sweater light by Petit Knit is everything that Checo needs. No further explanation required. George's style has evolved a lot lately. He's been looking stunning. Whenever he uploads a picture to Instagram and he's wearing a shirt, he looks so elegant. Sweater number 20 by My Favorite Things Knitwear will fit his vibe perfectly with its white rib, the v-neck, and the gorgeous cables. Joe Wendu deserves a special treatment for pulling up into some of the secret outfits to the paddock. For him, I have chosen two patterns, 
The first, the Harley Harness by Lydia Morrow. I have seen a lot of harness lately, but never worn it. I imagine Joe wearing the harness with a mesh long sleeve top underneath and some really baggy pants with a lot of pockets. I just want to cry by just thinking about it. The second piece he needs in his wardrobe is the Hilma by Amy Blackwell. He has to wear this outfit. There is no other option, so please get in touch with me. I want to make history. There are two things I can say about Charles Leclerc. One is that he loves Ferrari, and two, that he loves Prince. Like, he really loves Prince. The Burner Pullover by Lydia Morrow is my toys. I'm sure he will grab this amazing sweater and create the worst outfit possible. Valtteri Bottas is quite a funny guy. When I came across the Tubby Socks by Kirsty Nosher, I knew it was a perfect pattern for him. I need the same Noro yarn to make them. I know a pair of socks might not seem a lot compared to the others who are getting sweaters, but I know who will appreciate them. Lando Norris is one of my boos. He's boyish and he loves a good hoodie. That's why the Hot Tootie hoodie by Mitaritu is perfect for him. It's a hoodie that hoods but it feels a little bit dressier than a regular one. Yuki Tsunoda has a really classy style, but he's not afraid to take risks sometimes. I would really like to see him play a little bit more with fashion in the future. The Midnight Garden by Le Garçon, a sweater with large floral motifs, reminds me of the helmet he wore for the 2023 Japanese Grand Prix. I learned that Pierre Gosley released a really nice knit capsule collection with Alpha Tori and all the sweaters he had there had some kind of texture and that's why I chose the Wine Whistles by Le Garçon, a beautiful sweater work in brioche stitch. Kevin Magnussen is a mystery to me. When I check his Instagram, I could only find pictures of him with his racing suit or a white tee so I don't know a lot about his style but I do know that he's a dad so I chose the Brian by Natasha Hornby I think I butchered the pronunciation, sorry uh, which is a really classic dad sweater Nico Hulkenberg Instagram doesn't tell me much about him either I only know that he likes white tees too but there is one thing I can't get out of my head. A TikTok where I saw him holding his wife's bar. And he was so confident with a handbag in his hands. And it made me think about other TikTok I had seen previously that said that the way a man hold their partner's bag says a lot about them. And I think about that video and I think that he's so cool. So he deserves a cool sweater. The Vault by Maxine Sear seems like a great option with an amazing color work and I really like the fit it has. There are two things I know about Esti Vesti. One, that he loves skinny jeans and two, that Esti's Vesti is Mick Schumacher. His style makes me think about one of my friends who will take his girlfriend to Burger King for a date. The so basic sweater by Maxim Sir, it is what it says, a basic sweater, but it does have a really nice detail in the arms on the sleeves. He could pair it with some skinny jeans and go for his date on Burger King. Gallo signs, Google him, and the search bar might suggest you Gallo signs, old money. And these two pictures will pop out. The front port sweater by Kevin Haggerty feels that way, old money, perfect for the country club or when he comes to your family house so you can introduce him. Not like, not that I have ever thought about it. Like, no, never, of course, no, no, I'm not that kind of girl. I love Alex Albon. How can you not love Alex Albon? He's a great guy. 
I want to be friends with him. He seems to really like cozy clothes and I feel like he sometimes plays with a little bit with color. The Garden Cardigan by Charlotte Flood feels like a really comfortable piece for every occasion and the texture seems so unique. I feel like I really want to touch it. And if Alec asks me, I will make another cardigan for Lily because they are the cutest couple on the pillow and I want to see them matching. DRS means Daniel Ricardo supremacy. No arguing with that. I think everyone loves Danny. And like Mary Kendo would say, he sparks joy. So the Kai Fela sweater by Knit Wits and Jorn is perfect. A relaxed, colorful sweater with a retro vibe. Just like Danny. Oscar Piastri, my sweet child. He has a boy style, simple tee and hoodie, but I respect him. The Glima sweater by Lassie Matberg would be perfect for him. A classic sweater with a twist, looks really well put together and I really like the contrasting color on the eye cord. Beautiful. Fernando Loso is my favorite driver and he deserves my favorite pattern. The salt hoodie by Ines Oliveira. It's well done, elegant, modern and suitable for any occasion. These days Fernando has been quite wild and I think he will wear anything, but I think he could be really comfortable on this hoodie. I promise I didn't put Logan last because he was last, last season. While researching, I found a bunch of pictures of Logan showing off the fish he caught as if Instagram was his Tinder profile. He's such a Florida man with all the due respect to Florida man. So I went to Ravelry, I searched for the word fish and I found something better than I was expecting. I was looking for copper, but I found gold. The fish socket 1960 by Mary Maxine is perfect for him. I don't think I need to give any explanations. That was my last pattern and my last driver. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know in the comments which was your favorite pattern and if you agree with the designs that I chose for each driver. And also, what do you think about this season? It hasn't even started and it's been so crazy. I can't get over Lewis moving to Ferrari and Carlos being unemployed. I, I'm, I'm just joking about it to not cry. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with him. He's going to get picked by some team because everyone is running out of contracts, but I don't know what he's going to choose. I heard him talking the other day on a Ferrari thing. I think it was a press conference and he was looking pretty confident. So he, he must have already some deal in his hands. Um, but apart from this season, I think it's going to be fun because I think every driver will try to push himself and show Mercedes that he's worth it because everyone will want that Mercedes seat. I don't know what's going to happen with Checo and Red Bull. I hope he stays there. I really like Checo, but I know it have, there have been some issues. Um, so yes, I don't know what's going to happen this season. Please let me know your predictions and that's it. Adios.